Number 56, calculate the molarity of each of the following solutions, and then we have letter D. So in this case, we have 0.0079 grams of this whole compound, C7H5SNO3, and we have one ounce, and they were kind enough to tell us that one ounce is 29.6 milliliters, and this is the concentration of saccharin in a diet soft co Coke. Actually, no, just kidding. Diet soft drink. Okay. Let's just find the molarity, shall we? We know what the molarity formula is, right? We've done tons and tons of problems. It's this guy. Let me put this in the upper left-hand corner. Molarity equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of solution. So the quantity of the compound that you're putting into your total solution. More simply, it's capital M, capital M is molarity, and that equals the moles divided by the liters. So big M equals moles divided by liters. Now let's see, did they give us any information so that we could solve for molarity? Well, did they give us moles? No, they gave us grams. So we gotta do a conversion that way. Did they give us liters? Nah, they gave us milliliters. So I gotta convert that too. It doesn't matter which one you convert, you gotta do both of them. So let's start off, I don't know, I guess let's start off from left to right. Let's do the 0 0.0079 grams of C7H5SNO3, and I have to find out the moles of C7H5SNO3. Okay, well, we could do dimensional analysis, right? We've done tons of problems with dimensional analysis way, way in the beginning of chem, but here's like a quick trick down here. If you have a gram value of any substance, and I label that as X, and you wanna go to the mole value of the same substance, which I labeled X again, and that's what we have here. We start off with the grams of saccharin, and I wanna go to the moles of saccharin. So that's the same unit, so we can do this little trick. All we gotta do is take the grams, and if we're going this way, we're going this way. So we just take those grams and we divide by the molecular weight. Now, well, what is the molecular weight? Well, it's a molecular mass, it's a molar mass, right? This is always found on the periodic table. So I gotta find that, they didn't give it to us. We gotta work a little harder for this question. We have to find out what the molecular weight is of this compound, C7H5SNO3, right? C7H5SNO3, cool. We gotta get our periodic tables out, right? Now we have to add up the weights of all the carbons, all the hydrogens, all the sulfurs, the nitrogens, and the oxygen. The hardest part is just, you know, just remember that you have to take into consideration there's seven carbons. There's five oxygens, there's one sulfur, one nitrogen, and three oxygens, okay? So you do it on your end. You can round the numbers if you want. I'm gonna keep them pretty strict. I'll get the exact answer, and let's just see if we get roughly the same number. Okay, so we have seven carbons. Each one is roughly one. Uh, each one is roughly 12. Okay, then we're moving on to the hydrogens. We got five hydrogens, each is roughly one. That's the one guy. Then we're moving on to sulfur. There's only one of those. Okay, then we are moving on to nitrogen. There's only one of those. Okay, and then finally we're moving on to, uh, we're moving on to oxygen. There's three of those. So three times 16, and I get roughly 183.18. And the units for a molecular weight or a molar mass is grams per mole. So all we gotta do is we gotta take our grams, we're going this way, so we're taking our grams and we're dividing by the molecular weight to get the moles. So taking the 0 0.0079 grams and dividing it, 
by the molar mass, the molecular weight, 183.18. That's grams per mole. And you see how you have a gram on the top and then a gram on the bottom? They cancel. They're the same unit. And that's why you're only left with moles. And that's why that works. So here we go. 0 0.0079 divided by... Uh, 0 0.0079 divided by 183.18. Two sig figs here. So 4.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that's in the unit of moles. So that's this guy, right? 4.3 times 10 to the negative fifth moles. Okay, one half done, right? We need to now find out the liters. And they told us that we had one ounce, and one ounce equals 29. And actually, let me, I'll put it down here, I guess. I have some room over here. So 29, actually, just kidding, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little break here, and then I'm going to work on this side. So I have, I have 29.6 mils, and I need to convert to liters, right? Because that's what we need. We need liters on the bottom. So here's a little quick trick for that. If you're starting off with mils, which is what we're doing, and you want to go to liters, right? You're going this way. So all you got to do is just take that mil and divide by 1,000. So take this number and divide by 1,000. Similarly, you can take the decimal and move it to the left three times and fill in like the spaces with the zero. Either way, it doesn't matter. You'll still get the same answer. So 29.6 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.0296, and that's now liter. So that's the number down here. Okay, now we have the moles and we have the liters. We could finally figure out what the molarity is. So molarity equals the 4.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. And now let me just erase a little bit of this. That's moles. And now we divide by the liters, which we found out 0 0.0296. Let's do the math. What do we get? 4.3 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by 0 0.0296. Uh, lowest number is two sig figs here. So I I need to round to two sig figs, so 0 0.0015. And these units do not cancel. They're not the same. So the unit for molarity is mole per liter. You could also have said, so hold on, let me just fill this in. So you could have also said 0 0.0015 capital M. That's also a unit for molarity, but the other one is more specific. Okay, that's it, guys. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know what you thought. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends and tell your classmates. Um, yeah, gets the word out there that this service exists. And I really hope that we are helping you guys out. You guys rock. Let's keep studying hard. I will see you in the next question. And as always, have a great day, guys. All right. I'm rooting for you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.